Is the evidence shared by John Deaton enough to clarify the claims of XRP being a security? Moreover, XRPL may receive major new tweaks directed at escrows and payment channels. By the way, why is Ripple hosting a panel on the digital pound? Finally, Dogecoin versus XRP is an old school rivalry. We will be taking a comparison look at Dogecoin and XRP, stating which is worth your money. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on January 31st. As the legal brawl between blockchain payments from Ripple Labs Inc. and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, is coming to a gradual end, per Ripple lawyer John Deaton has shared more evidence to show the regulator is wrong in tagging XRP coin as a security. Taking to his most used platform, Twitter, Deaton shared an excerpt from Bill Hinman's speech in which he highlighted one of the definitions of what constitutes a security. The same reasoning applies to digital assets. The digital asset itself is simply code. But the way it is sold, as part of an investment, to non-users, by promoters to develop the enterprise, can be, and, in that context, most often is a security, the excerpt reads. Deaton said the use of XRP by its buyers was simply to establish a trust line with XRP Ledger to transfer value. Besides transferring value, Deaton submitted that many other people also got their salaries paid in XRP through BitPay and other vendors. The vocal attorney also noted that thousands of holders used XRP as a substitute for cash and that businesses also accepted the coin as payment for goods. With the Howey test unlikely to be satisfied if an asset can immediately be used as a substitute for fiat, and judging by XRP's outlined usage, this implies that XRP's label of security is unfounded. Since the SEC filed its $1.3 billion lawsuit back in December 2020, a lot of revelations have been made that seem to have placed Ripple as a likely winner in the ongoing legal brawl. One of the core arguments of the company is that it is only the SEC that disputes its status, as other U.S. agencies including the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the Department of Justice, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission all consider XRP as an asset other than a security. On the other hand, a new amendment under the code XLS34D has been proposed for implementation on XRP Ledger by contributor Dennis Angel. According to the text of the proposal, it involves making changes to the ecosystem's structural facilities in order to enhance the capabilities of non-XRP native XRPL assets. In particular, the innovation would make it possible to use escrow accounts for all assets built on the ecosystem. In other words, a project team would be able to lock tokens in a trust line balance and thus regulate its supply. Also, interestingly, the amendment should allow token issuers to retain authorization and to freeze control over their issued tokens, even when they are locked into instruments. In addition to escrow opportunities, the amendment also opens up greater opportunities for the use of native assets in XRPL payment channels. The authors have also not forgotten the efficiency of XRP Ledger, saying that XLS34D should help avoid unnecessary multiplication of entities as well as computational burden. The amendment has only just been proposed and will have a long way to go before being implemented. However, it has already received positive publicity in the XRP community. In particular, Scott Chamberlain, co-founder of Evernode XRPL and the lead developer of the Sun Wallet We'd Say Wind have expressed their support. Furthermore, in its predictions for 2023, the Ripple leadership team highlighted central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, as one of the biggest trends, as Bitcoinist reported. To drive this agenda, Ripple continues to actively work with the private and public sectors. One country where Ripple is very active is the United Kingdom. On Thursday, January 26th, James Wallace, Vice President of Central Bank Engagements and CBDCs at Ripple delivered the keynote at a webinar addressing the potential use cases and benefits of a digital pound. The panel was hosted by the Digital Pound Foundation, which Ripple joined in October 2021. The foundation is focused on the development and launch of a digital pound in the United Kingdom. 
The announcement at the time stated that Susan Friedman, head of policy, would represent the foundation as a board member to strengthen Ripple's initiative to participate in ongoing work to engage with central banks worldwide on technical and policy issues related to central bank digital currencies. The panel focused on what benefits CBDCs offer. To this end, during the webinar, a number of practitioners who are testing or implementing real-world use cases for a digital pound spoke and discussed with a panel of experts where CBDCs and privately issued stablecoins can really achieve these goals. The extent to which the XRP ledger or even the XRP token will play a role in a potential digital pound is as yet unknown. However, Wallace revealed in a recent interview with Tony Edward of the Thinking Crypto podcast that collaboration with a variety of players is required to achieve a CBDC. For this, there is the Digital Pound Foundation in the UK, as well as the Digital Euro Association in Europe and the Digital Dollar Association in the US. Wallace stated, other major markets are doing similar things. So in Europe, there's a Digital Euro Association which we are also a member of and working with, and also Digital Pound Foundation in the UK. It's really the private sector trying to encourage the public sector to move a bit more quickly. Brooks Entwistle, SVP and MD at Ripple, revealed in another recent interview that the company does not intend to implement a solution for every central bank in the world, but is taking a targeted approach. We've realized that we're not going to solve that problem for every single central bank around the world. We are very targeted. We found great interest in some of the smaller central banks around the world that are looking for a strategy or a partner, looking for a technology, a side blockchain, some ideas how to go about this. When asked if central banks are interested in the RippleNet or the XRP ledger, Entwistle disclosed that they want to use technologies that will help them and their own citizens. We don't believe there is one solution for all these central banks, he said. Entwistle further explained, there are places where we can play, maybe with a sidechain to the XRP ledger. We may help with the interoperability across this, but it's going to be different for every single central bank. Now, as we all know, Dogecoin versus XRP is an old school rivalry. We will be discussing which cryptocurrency is best between Dogecoin and XRP. Stick with us to learn more. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Both Dogecoin and XRP cryptocurrencies are very different from one another. As the crypto market is slowly moving towards a bullish trend, it becomes crucial to know which cryptocurrency is a better bet in January. Right now, there are more than 20,000 coins and tokens in existence, with 20 to 40 new currencies getting listed every day, but not every cryptocurrency promises a bright and green future. In this part of the video, we will discuss which cryptocurrency is best between Dogecoin and XRP, especially when both coins have demonstrated their potential for significant price growth. XRP is popularly known as the banker's cryptocurrency, whereas Dogecoin is somewhat the opposite. Starting with a mean trend and reaching new heights, Doge is intended to be a viable means of payment for everyday retail transactions. Now, taking a detailed look at Dogecoin, we will be answering the question regarding if Dogecoin is still a joke. One tweet is all it takes for Dogecoin to fall in green. The pioneer of meme currency has been around since 2013, but became popular in early 2021 when it was chosen by Elon Musk, the crypto advocate. A cash tag for Dogecoin has been introduced on Twitter, positively affecting the token's current market value. Network updates and plans to include Doge on Robinhood supported a bullish end to the week. Looking at Dogecoin's price surge recently, it is expected that this meme cryptocurrency will draw the attention of many new investors, which is good for its long-term price appreciation. Now, back to XRP, Ripple's revolutionary technology made it a leading provider of crypto solutions for businesses. The coin, at present, is hovering around 40 cents with a 24-hour trading volume of $1,664,000,000. In the past seven days, XRP's price has surged up to 9.27%. XRP's bullish behavior brought a 50% price increase in the last 30 days. According to the most recent updates by James K. Fillon in the ongoing Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit, all motions are now fully briefed and the judge's decision is awaited. XRP is an excellent investment option for those who buy digital currencies based on a top-down investment approach to diversify their portfolio, and as it is currently trading below 50 cents, one can have an affordable entry and investment opportunity with higher returns. This is not financial advice anyway. So guys, the ball is in your court. Choose and trade wisely and don't forget to share your opinions in the comment section. 
So we come to the end of this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.